Yeah, thank you for joining me today. Man, we had a bad storm come through yesterday. That was, I don't know if it was Hurricane Fred, uh, Tropical Storm Fred, whatever it was by the time it got up here to Georgia, but it dumped a whole lot of rain. Today's a beautiful day, not a cloud in the sky. It's blue skies. I wanted to come outside and review them. The ground is saturated. Everything is wet. So, I had to bring this metal chair out of the garage and just take a piece of sunlight out here. So, Ladies and gentlemen, Brian the Beer Snob. drinking this Cronenberg 1664 now my little story about Cronenberg is uh, when I got married we went to uh, Paris France on our honeymoon and I'm a high-class guy I mean I'm Brian the beer snob you know that's high class right that's where the cicadas they're singing well anyway so the hotel we stayed at was just down the street from a McDonald's so me being high class, I said, man, I want my first meal in Paris to be at McDonald's. So that's where we went. I got a Big Mac over there. They called it something like a Grand Royale or something like that. But I had the option of getting a beer with it. And this was the only beer that you could get. It was a Cronenberg 1664 in a, in a can. Now this is 11.2 fluid ounces. And I remember the can was not 12 ounces. It was a smaller can. But it was nice to be able to get that at McDonald's, because that's something you can't do here in the United States. So, that being said, I'm going to uh, dive into this. And I'll pick that up later, otherwise it'll stay in my yard. Ooh, she looks nice. I gotta say this, when I drank this in France back in 2008, I was not a beer snob. I was a light beer lover. Times have changed. I can tell you this though, just from that little sip of the head I had. I like it, it's flavorful. But I'm not gonna judge it just based on the head. Let me get the whole thing in here first. Yeah, I wanted to get outside while the birds were chirping. I didn't notice the cicadas were singing until I got out here, but so relaxing. She looks wonderful. Lots of carbonation. Let's see what it's about. <laughs> yeah, it's it's got a classic beer aroma. So let's see what she tastes like. Cheers. I think I like it more now than I did back when I first tasted it in that French McDonald's. Look what it says here. 5% alcohol by volume, 11.2 fluid ounces. It is in a green bottle. I'm not getting anything skunky off of it. And I want to say this is another beer that's been in my fridge for quite some time. Hey, I like the I like the bottle because it's stamped in it 1664, the year that this brewery was founded. It says imported from France, so this isn't uh, an American version of this beer that's brewed under license by somebody. This is uh, this is the real deal, brewed by. Cronenberg Supply Company, Overnight, France. I like it. Too bad I don't have a Big Mac or a Grand Royale to eat while I'm enjoying it, but it is good. It's delicious. Looks nice. Smells like nice. It's a nice day out. It's always brightest after the storm, you know? Bad storm yesterday. Beautiful day today. So 
So, thanks for stopping by. Traffic's driving by. Thanks for stopping by the Hardcore Pub. Get outside. Drink your beer. Life is good. And I'll see you next time. Till then. I like it. That is a good beer. Cronenberg, 1664, from France. Cheers.